how to model motor in etap software i will show you let's pick up a motor here here is the motor id we need to specify the motor id next here continuous 100% intermittent if it is 50% you can 50% or 40% or 30% for intermittent duty this is project specific by default it is 50% if it is spare then 0% and here is the status whether it is continuous or intermittent or spare if it is continuous then it will consider the 100% demand factor if you select here the intermittent duty then it will consider 50% demand factor next go to the nameplate parameters here is the motor motor kilowatt suppose this is 132 kilowatt next is the voltage level this is lv so 415 volt it is in kv so 0.415 as per the NEC standard or manufacturer let's select this manufacturer standard then it will pull out the typical data the power factor and efficiency at 100% voltage 75% voltage and 50% voltage and also no load so these are the power factor and efficiency values you can get from the motor manufacturer and you can put here these are user defined these are editable uh, boxes here and it has calculated this is the full load current 216.2 ampere this is full load current four pole four pole machine rpm and this is the sleeve this is service vector so the main parameters are motor kilowatt rating and voltage and for factor efficiency you can put as for the project specific okay so here coming to this loading here is the design design is the 100 percent kilowatt that means 132 kilowatt what we have selected 132 kilowatt so it is coming if the loading as per your process requirement or project requirement if the loading is suppose 75 percent in that case what it will consume only 99 kilowatt power consumption will be there so you can define during normal condition the power to be consumed by the by this induction motor winter load summer load if you if you want to specify you can specify and during load flow analysis you can you can uh, uh, use this data next is the impedance impedance that here so in this impedance there are some important parameters first of all this is the locked rotor parameters these are the locked rotor parameters this is locked rotor current by default it is showing 600 percent of full load current 600 percent of full load current or 700 percent or 550 percent 500 percent so it is project specific you will see from the motor manufacturer data you can you can change this value also this is locked rotor current 600 percent which is coming which is coming 1297 ampere 1297 amps if you see the full load current is 216.2 216.2 ampere if you consider 600 percent of that full load current then it is coming 1297 amps this is starting power factor locked rotor power factor which is starting power factor 25.18 percent and this is xyr ratio and here you can see the torque values of the motor so locked rotor torque is 35 percent by default it up will show you the default value as 35 percent you can edit this value based on your manufacturer data and also the maximum torque 
maximum torque value 210 you can get it from the manufacturer so this nameplate tab this impedance tab these two are the basic tabs where you can put the basic motor parameters apart from that apart from that if you want to model uh, for the motor motor starting it up motor starting analysis you need to define this model inertia and load these three tabs in the model tab you need to model dynamically because the equivalent circuit parameter will come here speed torque characteristic curve will come here current power factor those curves will come here so you need to specify i have already prepared separate video how to model dynamically of any high voltage or low voltage motor so you can refer that video this is required for the dynamic motor starting and transient analysis this is not required for the static motor starting inertia also you need to specify this h value this this value motor coupling and load these inertia values and also the load parameters and also the load parameters i have already preferred separate video for how to model this load again this model tab inertia tab and load tab these three are applicable for motor dynamic starting and transient analysis only for the static for the static motor starting these are not required however this is required so from no load to full load what is the time the motor will take suppose 5 second so from, from no load to full load the motor will take 5 second time to reach its full load from no load to full load so this value only required apart from that for starting motor analysis nothing is required only this nameplate data impedance and here the motor acceleration time these are required and for dynamic model apart from all other parameters nameplate impedance and uh, this this one we need to fill up this model inertia and load also so these are the important and the main parameters you need to fill uh, to model the motor in ETAP software.